Howdy folks, Colin and Shreya Lay here. We are the founders of Lay Roots, which is an amazing asset protection law firm. Today, Shreya's got a hot question for you viewers that she's gonna talk about. <laughs> I do. You know, people call in and they're like, I mean, I got my business entities, I got my LLCs, like do I really need asset protection planning Ooh, as well? That is a hot question and a hot topic yeah. around the office here. <laughs> Let me just jump in real quick, Shreya. Hey, if you've got these questions about asset protection planning. I can you, talk to you about them. She can. You can go to livemorecarefree.com to schedule a free <laughs> No obligation consult. Again, that's livemorecarefree.com. Go there and book your time now. Don't wait any longer. Yeah. Shreya. I mean, we're out here in the elements bringing you this information and making these videos for you. I just got like a little piece of tumbleweed in my eye. Was that what it was? I don't know. I thought I'd I spit so. in your eye or something. No, no. <laughs> it was something swirling about. But... That is neither here nor there. We're here to talk about business planning versus asset protection planning. Mm. Do you need both? What's the difference? Well. Tell them, Shreya. Yeah, I mean, there is a difference of business. Doing some business planning and having those entities is a part of a proper plan. You want that because, I mean, one, you can get some of those business benefits but also, and it's a business, so you want to treat it like a business. But also, you know, it's a way to put little boxes and bubbles around your different endeavors. So, you know, let's say you're a doctor and you have your own private practice. You want to put that in its own entity. But then you are doing some real estate investing on the side because you don't want to practice forever. And you want some of that passive income. And so you want those real estate investments to be in their own separate entities. You're not going to put them in the same business as your practice. And you don't want to hold them in your own personal name because let's say someone files a lawsuit against you and they file it against the practice. They name you. They name your nurse. You don't want all the stuff that you own on the table. And so you want to put them in some business entities, and that's kind of, you know, the proper thing to do. But then, in some states, um, like Washington, those business entities, if you own them by yourself or you own them with a spouse, then they might be considered still some, like, personal property. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you want to start trying to put in some higher levels of protection. Plus, you might have some assets that are not business assets, like your personal home, maybe a vacation property. So like personal assets. Personal assets. You want to protect those too. You don't want to just leave those floating about. Willy-nilly. Right. For anyone to take. So what I'm hearing you say, Shreya, is the business- Yeah, please do, because I just like went off on a rant right there. <laughs> <laughs> so your business planning the different business activities you do, mm -hmm. the business planning protects those activities from each other. Yeah. So the so the risk and liability doesn't spill from one spot to another spot. Mm -hmm. And then you're also protecting your personal assets from your business assets or business activities. Yeah. And then vice versa, you protect your business activities and assets from your personal life, like your car accidents that you get into. Yes, yeah, that's a... That's a good point. And we have a few other videos, too, actually, about these topics, kind of, you know, talking about bits and pieces of it. Yeah. Check out the channel. Yeah. Otherwise, if Shreya names them, I'm going to have to link them below. <laughs> I'll take forever to find them. But no, this is kind of just pulling it together, right? So people ask, like, why would I need an asset protection plan if I have a business plan in place, like business entities in place. Well, it's because the business entities don't do everything and you have personal assets that you want to protect as well. And you just want some, like an umbrella to just so really the, save it all, to protect it all. When we and other people use that term of asset protection planning, that's essentially going beyond yeah. your basic business planning to then 
add on some entities, planning, legal strategies that protect your personal assets as well. Right. Right. So you're getting more more boxes and bubbles around your your various stuffs. Yeah. And then, you know, as business owners, you're hustling, you're making deals. You want to know, can I still make those deals if I'm putting all these entities in place? The answer is yes. Yes, you, you can. can. You can do it all. Yeah. You can have it all. <laughs> you just got to take that first step. Mm-hmm. Grab it. <laughs> sure. Well, that sounds like a good place to stop, Shreya. It do you is. Think? I think it is. And if you liked this video and my rant slash fast talking, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel to see some of those other videos I talked about. They're out there. They're in there. Yeah. Thanks for watching, folks. Thanks, Shreya. Thank you, Colin. Hmm.